child, Rosel Ambubuyog had a deep thirst to see and know more about life. I'm, I'm the sort who would roam around the school, eh, exploring, looking at things, observing my friends. I find enjoyment in seeing life as it moves, parang looking at the flowers, looking at my friends play. But at age six, tragedy struck. Rosel had a bout with asthma and took some medicine not knowing she had Stephen Johnson syndrome, a rare condition that made her body reject medication. As a result of complications, Rosel went blind. My last memory was that of my family, because that was the time when all of my family members were with me. I wasn't the, the sort of person who would um, blame God or ask Him why He has given me this fate. But I'm, I don't know, I guess even as a child, I, I, I felt that everything had a purpose. Eh? Despite her condition, Roselle urged her parents to enroll her in a regular school. I wanted to prove to myself that even though I'm blind, I could still belong, make myself belong, not just fit in to the society where, where really I was born. With Batina, it's, it's a regular school um, that has a special education unit. So we were mainstreamed in the regular class and we had special sessions um, where we were taught how to read and write in Braille and use other equipment for the visually impaired. Actually, I'm afraid of that because I thought that the relationship namin would not be so good I mean, me and my classmates. But I was surprised because my, my friends there, my classmates there, were really sympathetic. They know it. They, they wouldn't even um, talk about it even as a joke. To everyone's surprise, Roselle graduated valedictorian of her class. Gulat pang ako yung, what? Ano nangyari? Bakit bilang naging top one? Tapos, siguro yun yung first taste ko na rin of discrimination. The mother of the one who ranked second, of course, the, the one who ranked second was um, was not blind. And the mother said, with me around, uh, parang, okay, congratulations, galing ng anak mo, nakachamba. So, parang sa akin, parang that was a challenge to me. Challenged? Roselle also topped her class at the Ramon Magsaysay High School. It was not an easy climb to the top. Once in a while, she would still encounter insensitive people. After crying, parang, ang cheap cheap ko. <laughs> Why do I have to cry about them people? <laughs> Today, Roselle is a full scholar at the Ateneo de Manila University, where she majors in math, her favorite subject. College life is fun because here you could uh, relate with so many people, different um, attitudes, and it's, it's funny because other people would feel so awkward um, talking to a visually impaired person. Some of them would, would, would talk so loud and as if they're talking to a deaf mute. <laughs> In class, Roselle uses a special machine called Braille and Speak to record her notes. All her exams are printed and written in Braille. After that, I would submit my answers in Braille and then would just meet with my teacher during our free time so I could read the answers to, to him or her. She gets to her classes with the help of her friends. She was a very good student and she got an A in my class. It takes a lot of effort okay, because it requires her not just double the amount of time an ordinary student would take. Recently, she has been chosen as the Oserizal Model Student of the Year. Of course, I was happy and I was really grateful because like, it's different from what I've been experiencing back in high school and elementary, that the attitude was really positive. This March, Roselle is set to graduate with top honors from her alma mater. I believe that um, as of now, my greatest contribution is to be able to finish with honors. In that way, I'll be able to represent the whole blind community. I've always told them that for the blind, we have just lost our sight, not our guts and our brains. So one shouldn't think that we could not perform as well as others will. If ever I'd be asked to give a speech on graduation day, I'd probably talk about um, overcoming one's limitations. In overcoming these limitations, it, it is always with the help of God. Uh, I guess I would draw inspiration from the, from the Bible verse, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, where the Lord would say, um, My grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. I, would, I will boast most gladly of my weaknesses in order that the power of Christ be with me.
I believe that everybody has his or her own disability. It may be physical, mental, psychological, emotional, financial even. But um, these are just challenges to us that have purpose. And all we have to do is to know what, what does God plan for us and what does He want us to do. Believe it or not, Roselle is even thankful for her blindness. Now I'm able to see clearly how beautiful the world is. Because I appreciate every single thing. When I, when I get, um, let's say, a new, new, new things, like somebody gives me a gift, I'm able to appreciate it as it is. Not just the way it looks, but also the uh, intention of the person who gave it to me. Uh, I'm visually impaired and yet I see better than other people.